I'm Bobby from Leaf Education. Welcome to number five in our series of art activities inspired by farming and the countryside. This week we're going to be working with sheep's wool. This week we're going to be making felt using sheep's wool. This is some um, wool from my Jacob sheep, so they're black and white sheep, so there's black and white, brown and white wool. Uh, this is what it looks like when it comes off of the sheep. Um, it would uh, go off to um, the sort of the white wool from a commercial sheep would go off to um, the factory to be cleaned, to take the grease out, um, carded and then dyed. You can see this is all the fibres are going all in different directions at the moment. If you can get hold of uh, raw fleece from a farmer, that's great. Give it a little rinse before you bring it into the classroom just to take out any uh, sheep's poo that might be left on it. Um, or you can buy this stuff, which is processed sheep's wool. It's called wool tops. And um, obviously it's been dyed and made into all these beautiful colours. You can buy that from any craft shop or you can get it online. Um, it comes as sort of ropes like this, of this kind of thickness. I've chopped it up into short lengths just to make it easy for the students to work with. And what we're going to do is take three colours that we like of our short lengths of wool top and we're going to spread the fibres out. You can see that they're all running roughly in one direction because they've been carded to look like that. What we're going to do is spread them out so that you've got a very fine layer of wool. Now those fibres are going up and down. Your next layer, we're going to do exactly the same, teasing it gently out. Younger students might just need a little hand with this bit. It's going to go on top but it's going to go the other way. So you've got up and down, side to side. Just move that out of the way slightly. And then your third layer, you do the same again, teasing it out. You don't want any big thick lumps of wool, otherwise you'll get bits of felt that aren't meshed together. So, okay, those ones are going side to side, so these ones want to go up and down. So when you've got your three layers like that, the next stage is to get a ping pong ball and wrap them around. Ball. And you're going to try and snuggle your ping pong ball into your layers of felt, a bit like a little nest. Wrap them all the way around so that you can't see the ping pong ball at all. The next thing you're going to do, take some warm water, as hot as is suitable for your age of students, and a little bit of soap. And you basically wet the wool Put some soap on it and this is the tricky bit and you have to squish it and turn it and 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 squish it and turn it if you get any little gaps just make sure you tease the wool over the top so that your whole ping pong ball is completely snuggled then you keep squishing and turning and squishing and turning and it makes a terrible soapy mess all over your classroom. Right. Don't get too much soap and water on it, but you need to be able to move the fibres around. So what's happening is the little fibres are locking together. It's a good one for a STEM project, this, because you're looking at changing materials and it's a non-reversible change once the fibres have locked together. And the more you squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, you'll gradually feel that the fibres are pulling together and pulling it tighter and tighter and you'll feel instead of being all flubbery, it starts to feel more like a tennis ball. It starts to firm up and feel more like a tennis ball. And then as it starts to get a bit firmer, you can start to roll it in your hands. So you go from squeeze and turn to rolly, 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 rolly. And then it'll start to get tighter and tighter and firmer and firmer and you just keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Right. If it dries out, add a bit more water. If it gets too flubbery, you can get a towel and just dry it off a little bit. And then you 
just keep going. Keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and it might take you about 10 minutes to get to this next stage. When you press the felt you don't want to feel any softness really, it wants to just feel hard like a tennis ball. So then you dry it off and take a pair of very sharp scissors. Uh, obviously if it's not appropriate for your age of pupils to use sharp scissors get a grown-up to do this stage. So what you do is you cut across in one direction and then across in the other direction just to about halfway round, a bit like doing an orange Then, this is the magic bit, you peel it open and see what you've got inside. Hey, and there's your start of your felt flower. So you can start to um, tidy up with the sharp scissors, just trimming up the shape of the petals. Obviously you can spend as long as you want doing that. Um, from this stage, you want to be adding a button in the middle. Oops, that's a bit big. A button in the middle. Um, and you can sew that on. You can put different layers of petals on. I'm going to show you the easy non sew option. And I'm being fussy, I want a green button in the middle. Um, and the non sew way of doing it is you take your flower and you fold it in half and make two little snips in the base. see those and you get a pipe cleaner fold it in half pop the legs of the pipe cleaner through the holes in the button so you've got a pipe cleaner with legs pop the hot the pipe cleaner legs through the little slits that you've made in the bottom of the felt flower, like that. Pull them through and then twist it into place. And there is your basic no-sew felt flower. Once your students have got the basic technique, then you can um, extend this activity by building up layers and experimenting with colors, cutting your petals in different shapes. Of course, you don't have to use the pipe cleaners. You can sew them onto um, hair clips or badges or whatever you like, really. Um, and that's then. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Next week, we'll be doing more wool crafts, this time simple weaving activities. If you want some more resources to do with sheep, their life cycles and the science of sheep, then visit the Countryside Classroom website.